This is Sway. 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 In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. Shake your body. Wake your fuck ass up. That crust on you. That's a clip from a, a documentary called Chicago Land. And um, gave a real inside uh, perspective of what goes on in Chicago with the youth in the streets. And um, also featured a, a trailblazer. I consider her kind of like a, I don't know, man. She's a community activist. She's mm. a teacher, a uh, humanitarian. <clears throat> um, she's done a lot, you know, uh, just to kind of improve the conditions that Chicago is facing on a day-to-day -day basis. Heather. Stuff we yeah, talk about all the time. All the time. Not yeah. just Chicago, cities like it. And the reason why we wanted to highlight Chicago a lot is because they're going through a lot, and I think we could learn from um, the trials and tribulations and the things that they succeed at. Yes. Mm -hmm. And um, her story is one of their major success stories ongoing, if you ask me. Uh, she was a principal at Finger High School, um, and she was able to really turn that campus around. First year she was there, they had over nearly 300 arrests, I believe, on campus. Uh, she improved um, the attendance rate mm. substantially, as well as their graduation rate. And she also um, improved the environment in terms of safety for kids to feel good about going to school. That's good. And then most importantly, um, the, at the attitude and the morale about education, um, and considering all that these kids are facing in, sh in Chicago. And she's here with us today because mm. she has millions of dollars, millions of dollars at her disposal, ladies oh, and gentlemen. Hey. Millions of dollars. I kid you not. She told me this. I researched it for myself. I didn't know she was lying, selling a dream. <laughs> right. I don't care all the great things. Tell me by telling me I'm trying to give away millions of dollars, Sway. I got to research it. Liz Dozier is here, ladies and gentlemen. Liz. Hey, guys. Hey, Liz. <laughs> Liz. Liz brought gifts, too. What did what you show? What you bring? I brought Garrett's popcorn. This is freshly popped yeah. from Chicago. Yeah. Okay, yes. freshly popped. Yes, okay. yes. She brought <laughs> a whole you. bucket. Now, I, I, I've seen Liz more times than I've seen Rich Nice in the past month. Really? <laughs> yeah. Because <Yeah. laughs> that's a feat. We, we were doing our VH1 special, right? Um, and I got a chance to interview you there. Um, just we were at Ice uh, Common's birthday party. Yes, we, we were. partied together at Common's birthday party. Um. <laughs> By the way, um, and then we were at uh, Common's fifth annual gala event for his uh, Common Ground Foundation, 12th year in the making. Nice. And we were just there Saturday night. Just Saturday night. Just Saturday night. Heather, uh, she knows Common really well, yeah, too. Heather. Yeah, we're, Well, we're married. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Right, Liz knows. I, I, heard, I, I was at the wedding. You were, you no, were there? I was there. I was there. You mm -hmm. were at the wedding. Mm -hmm. Sweet. Sure you was. Was. I brought them the one time. You did, Tracy wasn't there. It, it, it's all right. Um, but you know, sweet people know. I was there. I saw you. Does anyone have a picture of this wedding that took place? That's my question. The I hate. do. Thank you, Liz. I do. Yeah. I do. I just didn't bring it with you me didn't today. Bring it with you I, to, okay, I do okay. Have it. Liz Dozier. <laughs> I got uh, you. Thank you, Liz. Appreciate mm -hmm. you. We we love Liz. <laughs> you know, um, Liz, you're doing a lot right now. Congratulations. You're the managing director of Chicago Beyond, which is a new foundation focusing on youth safety and educational attainment. Um, wh what does Chicago Beyond does? What is your mission? So it's really to invest in kids in our communities. That's just really the bottom line. Mm -hmm. um, our belief system is that founded on the fact that all kids, no matter what your zip code is, no matter where you come from, you have potential with inside of yourself. And if there's failure, it's not because of lack of potential. It's about lack of opportunity and access. And Chicago Beyond really seeks to support opportunity and access through its investments. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what is the goal? What is goal? What is the Go Innovative Challenge and the Go Together? What yeah, are those so um, this is the exciting part. So I hope listeners are tuning in. And if you have a program or an idea um, that can support our children, I can encourage you to go to chicagobeyond.org and learn about our uh, Go Innovation Challenge. Uh -huh. Basically, we're giving up to $2 million away per winning idea. Um, and it's hmm. really in, in two key areas. So stop, 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 yeah, stop, yeah, yeah. stop. We can't <laughs> glaze over stop, that. Stop, Liz. Give me perk up. Okay. Yo, stop, hold Liz. Up. Hold up. Take everybody, let it breathe. Let it breathe. <laughs> Let it breathe. Say that part slower. See, Liz has done so many interviews and been on the movies. She yeah. was in the barbershop right, the next, next time. Yeah, she's yeah. 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 So <laughs> she's just firing off. You're firing off radio now. We're going to slow it down a little bit. Okay. You're giving away what? Up to $2 million per, <laughs> per, 
per winning idea. And we have two categories. So if people have programs in these two categories, I encourage you to go to our website, chicagobeyond.org. Mm. The first uh, category is around college matriculation enrollment. Mm-hmm. So basically, it's not just getting kids graduate from high school, but getting them graduated from college. We know our kids go to college a semester, a year later, they're falling out. You know, yeah. fa- they fall off. Yeah. So it's about, do you have ideas and programs to support kids mm-hmm. to get to that graduation stage? Okay. The other, and this is so funny, you were playing the clip with Jason. It was really built on Jason. Mm-hmm. And so 47% of African-American males in the city of Chicago, almost 50% of African-American males between the ages of 16 and 24 are not working and they're not in school. Mm-mm. Almost one out wow. of every two. Bro crazy. So this second innovation challenge is about reengaging that population of the youth, right? Mm-hmm. So it's about getting them connected either mm-hmm. back to school and a job or both, but not just that. It's about the supportive services around there. So I'm looking for organizations who can support that type of work. Mm-hmm. And we're supporting it with that up to $2 million investment. And this is what I'm so proud of. We partnered with the University of Chicago. So, so Chicago Beyond has partnership with the University of Chicago where they're going to study every investment that Chicago Beyond makes. Wow. And the goal is, once they come out with that research that your program or idea works, it then spurs more money, more people investing in your program. So it's, it's a notion, built on the notion of not just giving somebody a fish, like a typical foundation yeah. buzz, but giving them the tools and, and teaching them how to fish with their own resources and support. And, and you so. got to show results, right? <laughs> exactly. Now, now, is this just limited to the Chicago area, or this, these are organizations that uh, uh, can uh, participate across the country? So organizations can participate from across across the country and they have to be willing to implement their program in Chicago. Mm-hmm. Hmm. You know what I'm curious about, Liz? Um, when Sway was initially introing you and he spoke about how you've been able to like upgrade the retention at these schools and you got the numbers up for attendance and you got the numbers up for graduation, what did you do? For that uh, to happen. Well, first of all, it's a team effort. He, he's okay. being very kind, but there's a whole team involved in this. Yes, so, of course. Uh, but the basic premise is this: like everybody wants to, everybody wants to be recognized. Everybody wants to have a relationship, and so we built relationships with kids. So mm-hmm. if Jason didn't show up to school. You know, I could go to his house and say, hey, I need you to get up, let's go. Or oh, one of my nice. team members, let's get up, let's go. Or if somebody's falling off, they weren't just a number. They, these are these are our kids. These are our children. You know, so it's about connecting in with them. And I think that was really a lot of it. I don't think it was some super se- secret formula or anything. <laughs> but it was, mm-hmm. it's about relationships. Everybody wants to be noticed. Showing sure. that someone cared. Yeah, everybody wants that. We as adults want that. We sometimes, you know, we like to say it, but everybody wants to be noticed and cared for. Yeah, but you, you, you were a little different. Like, you were walking kids home, right, or going to their homes and knock on oh, doors. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they already know. I was out in the community uh, a few weeks ago and the kids were like, oh, Miss Doe, you still around? You haven't given up on us. I was like, you already know. Yeah, and that's, so. that's an important component. So let's let's go over what we discussed. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, chicagobeyond.org. Yes. Right? And if you have an organization, there's two different um, uh, challenges. You got the Go Innovative Challenge, mm-hmm. right? And that's an uh, organization that, that um, helps kids get into college and complete college, mm-hmm. right? And then the Go Together Challenge, and that's, once again, that's what? So the Go Together Challenge, I'm totally different. This is more about spurring um, really big uh, big growth for kids. So yeah. this is, uh, if people are interested in that, um, I encourage them to go to chicagobeyond.org. But this is investments basically of $5 million or more mm-hmm. to really support kids. That's a whole different thing. Okay, so you have access to all of this money. My question is, where is the money coming from? Yes. Answer that. <laughs> When we come back, and then I'm opening up the phone lines. If you want to find out how you could get involved with ChicagoBeyond.org, and if you're part of an organization that can help the uh, that can accomplish these things, you can win up to uh, not win, but you could be granted up to two million dollars. Eight 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 seven four two three three four five. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. We have a special guest, managing director of Chicago Beyond, a new foundation focusing on youth safety and educational attainment. On uh, Liz Dozier here, and um. They want to support organizations that are supporting the youth in different ways. Go to ChicagoBeyond.org to find out how you can possibly uh, have access to up to $2 million or more in some cases, right? Mm-hmm. That's right. All right. 888-742-3345. Uh, we have Yazin on the line from Chicago. What up? Is What's it, going on, guys? How you doing? I mean, I just, ra- Yo, I just I ran. Just <laughs> the fuck? I just ran from the bathroom. <laughs> I did wash my hands. Um, Yazin, good. how you doing? Pretty good. How are you guys? Great, man. Say hello to Liz Do You have a question? Hey, Liz. How are you? Hey, how are you? I'm good. You know, I actually, uh, I'm, I'm from Chicago, and I have, uh, like, 
there's a school that I visited. Uh, it's called um, it's called the Link in Chicago, and they they actually this type of program. They help uh, underprivileged uh, African American youth in Chicago. Uh, you know, prepare them for college, what to expect. They have a mentor program and everything. Is this something that they can be involved in? I know, I know the director. Her name is April. Uh, I don't know if I should contact her and see if she, this is something an entire school can actually apply for, anything like that. Yeah, I would encourage you to go to our website, chicagobeyond.org, and right under the Go Innovation uh, tab, you can pull down. There's like a, a quick kind of rundown of who can apply and who can't apply, and I would encourage you to pass it along to her. And also, if you know of other people, if you're in this work, you know of other organizations, please encourage folks to apply. Okay. I definitely will. Thank yep. you. Thank you so much. All right, chicagobeyond.org. Uh, Terry in Massachusetts. Is it Terry? Terry. Terry. Hi. Good morning. Hello. Yes. How do you say, uh, uh, I mean, say hi to Liz. <laughs> hi, Liz. How are you? Hey, how are you? Good, thank you. Um, very quickly, I'm, I, I do own a business, and I do own a business that can be replicated. Um, and where I'm from in Massachusetts, um, it's exactly what I wanted to do with what you're doing. Um, and I wanted to know um, if a business like mine... Um, could be could could do or do well in Chicago, and, and what is your criteria for someone who's not say you know not closely related to the Chicago area? Yeah, so I would encourage everyone who has questions about like can I apply or can I not apply or am I am I the right fit? I would encourage you to contact us um, at info at chicagobeyond dot org. We were literally we've been returning every single phone call and every single email within twenty four to forty eight hours. So I would encourage you to to go out and uh, check us out at chicagobeyond dot org and get more information. Also for the go innovation work, so that that up to two million dollars, those um, letters of interest are actually due on April 29th. It's super simple. It's like a three page letter of interest, but they're due. April April 29th. So I'd encourage you to get on that website and check it out soon. Okay. Can you give her any like insight to that though? Yeah. So we're looking for organizations basically that have been establishing around for three years. You just can't come up with your brand new idea and just establish a 501c3 <laughs> yesterday. That's not going to work. Okay. Okay. okay, okay. <laughs> we can start there. Uh -huh. um, but you have to be serving a certain type of kid, right? We're looking for kids who are, you know, disengaged, looking for uh, working in certain communities to, to support our kids who need it most. Okay. So, uh, Tari, go ahead and, and follow through and, and see what you can find out. Tracy? Liz, I think a lot of people when it comes to a lot of people want to be teachers or want to be managing directors for foundations, but you always hear about how the salary is very low and that can stop people. Has there been any changes? Is that like a myth that people are stuck on? What oh, no, you... that's that's real all day long. OK, okay. <laughs> all day long. let me tell you, that's real all day long. But I mean, I, I'm a firm believer in you got to go where you feel most passionate, where you feel inspired. I've never had a career plan. I've always just gone where I felt inspired. And I think when you, you, you go and you set yourself in that direction, mm -hmm. that's ultimately how you wind up being successful. And so um, I, I encourage all my kids, like, don't look at a salary and, and think of a job, but look mm -hmm. at where you feel like where you want to be, where you feel inspired. Right. Yeah. Now, is there a deadline? Um, for people to apply, there is April 29th for that for that Go Innovation Challenge. So April 29th, that's this Friday, y'all. Oh, this snap. Friday, <laughs> so <laughs> so get to, get to typing, get to typing. You could you could you could be granted up to two million dollars or more um, if you can implement a pro a program that could, uh, that fits the criteria. Uh, go to chicagobeyond.org. Uh, we have. Chris on the line from Illinois. Good morning, Chris. Hey, Chris. Hey, Chris. Hey, Chris. Good morning, family. How y'all doing? Doing all right, all man. Right. Great. Hey, listen, I just I really appreciate what you're doing. I think it's fantastic that uh, you guys are putting this out there like this. I used to be a gang member on the south side of Chicago and, and uh, spent a lot of time in jails. And uh, I didn't have any mentors, any father figures or positive male role, role models to look up to. So now that I found God, I, I started a ministry called Dark Horse Ministries. Mm. And we're trying to get in the Chicago area. We're working with the youth in the detention centers in southern Illinois and teaching them interviewing skills, helping them get their GEDs, uh, showing them that we're out there serving the community, whether it's senior citizens, the youth or the adults in jail, uh, homeless shelters, all that kind of stuff. And just, um, you know, we've only been around for a year and a half. So when I heard you say that you kind of request three years, is there any flexibility in that whatsoever? 
<laughs> no, I'm sorry. There's no there's no flexibility in that. But I encourage organizations um, to go on to learn more. And also, I mean, we're going to be around for a while. We're not going anywhere. Uh, and so uh, possibly in the future. But I appreciate the work that you're doing. It's the work that I believe in, right? You can't give up on people. Nobody has the right to say who who gets support and who gets resources and, and who don't. We should be supporting all of our children. And I think your success story of kind of where you've come from and where you've gone to now is what I firmly believe in. Hey, Chris, man, salute to you, man. Yeah, and stay the, and stay the path. That's right. And, Chris, you know what? No matter what you, you've done in your past, you could use those experiences as tools to make yourself even more relatable to the youth or young men who are going through what you went through. You can walk them through it. You could tell them some of the pitfalls they're going to face. And maybe hearing it from you, someone that experienced it, uh, they'll be more prone to listen and, and then follow your lead, man. So uh, I salute you, Chris. You're a, you're a super citizen. That's, That's right. In the morning. That's right. Right? Now, DB's an ex-gangbanger, too, man. Uh, go ahead, DB. You want to get in this, man? Yeah, no, I'm not. Okay. Uh, no, I don't want to get too far off topic, but um, I did see you in Barbershop the next cut, but I also saw uh, Spike Lee uh, Chirac. And I wanted to know, because when we had Spike up here, he was kind of frustrated with all the backlash it was getting um, with people saying, you know, oh, man, this is some corny shit and, you know, this, that, and the other. I was just wondering if people were as harsh with the criticism in Chicago, in, in the inner city, about Chirac towards that movie. You know what I mean? Like some people just really didn't feel that it hit to the, uh, the, the the topics and like how bad it was in there. They just felt like it kind of overlooked everything. What, did you hear anything about that? Or You know, it, I heard mixed things. I'll be honest with you. It was mixed. I heard some people that thought it, you know, accurately, you know, represented. I heard some people said that it, it didn't. So, I, unfortunately, I haven't seen it, which is probably really bad to say, but I have not seen <laughs> oh, it. Damn. I won't put you on the spot. <laughs> oh, yes. oh. That's really bad to Barbershop say. Barbershop was good, though. <laughs> All right, uh, Liz Dozier is here. You want to ask her more questions, 888-742-3345. She's giving away millions of dollars, millions of dollars. Go to chicagobeyond.org to find out how. And up next, we're going to do a Chicago hip-hop quiz with Liz. Uh -oh. We're going to know what she knows okay, or Liz. what she doesn't. Sway in the morning. Sway in the morning, Shade 45. Before we get into Celebrity Wire, we got some good juicy stuff coming up, right, Tracy G? Well, freaking yeah. Like what? Like McConan dissing Drake. Yeah, it's come to that. It started like that. Well, we'll talk about yeah, that up next. Mm -hmm. Liz Dozier is here. ChicagoBeyond.org. Real quick, once again, if you want to find a way that your organization can receive um, backing up to $2 million, this is all you have to do. Go to ChicagoBeyond.org. Learn more about us. Again, that letter of interest is due April 29th. So I encourage you, if you have questions, uh, give us a call. Our numbers on the website or um, hit us up at uh, info at ChicagoBeyond.org. Okay. Being from Chicago, Liz. So were you born and raised in Chicago? Or? Well, in the suburbs and then in, in, in a little bit in the city. Kind of oh. doing back and forth. Okay. Both. But you're one of the bravest people in Chicago. You don't, you don't run uh, from Chicagoans. Did I say that correctly? Chicago wins. Yeah. Okay. And you don't you don't run in the face of danger. Uh, you really put those kids first. You're on the ground. You're literally on the ground knocking on doors, <clears throat> which I commend. I really. That's why you're here today. You know, it's like we gotta we gotta celebrate people like you yep. oh, yeah. and the work that you're doing. Um, a lot of folks have access to a lot of things that they don't necessarily give back to the community. You didn't have access to a whole lot of things, and you may. You may you may lemonade out of lemons. Lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> you you got in tune with your inner Beyonce. There Not, you go. <laughs> right. And you went out in those streets, <laughs> started helping the community. So there shouldn't be anyone that knows more about Chicago than you. Oh, let's hope not. That's why we're gonna do our Chicago hip hop quiz with Liz Dozier. Quiz Liz. Take out a pencil. We are going to have pop quiz. That's right, citizens. It's time for a history lesson. The world is full of history. But we want to see how much you know about hip-hop history. Oh, man. I didn't study. That's too bad. It's hip-hop trivia right now on Sway in the Morning. With Liz Dozer. So this is going to be really simple. Okay. DJ Wonder is going to play three different songs. Okay. All you have to do, you don't even have to name the title of the song. Okay. You just have to name the artist that sang the song or rapped the song. Okay. Okay. Right, do I go. get phone a friend? Do I get phone a friend? Yeah, yeah. You yeah. get phone a friend. You get phone a friend. <laughs> you just get friend as long as they're in this right, room. Right, right. All right. Okay. All right. Here we go. Friend. Song number one. Chicago artist. I know the song. I can't. 
You better give it another second. <laughs> you cannot miss this one. Can I do the rap? Go ahead, go ahead. Huh? Well, it's the B R A T. Damn, Heather. Oh, oh. the brat. Thank you. Thank you. Right, that's her you friend. Know. Formation. Okay. Yeah. The people. <laughs> you, you don't get any more friends. I help. was at the wedding, so I'm just saying. Thank okay. you for having yeah. my yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. One of my bridesmaids. Okay. <laughs> Track number two. Crucial conflict. Okay, you know it's going to Let me get one more. Do you want to ride in the backseat of a cat and chop it up and do it that? No! Oh! 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 Get it, Liz. So trip her up. Let's just throw one more. That was tricky, you know, too. Like a newer guy. That was tricky, too. Yeah, well. I know who you could get. We got it. We're going. Let's have the kind of help that when she spelled out Brad. Right. V. Who's yeah, V? Is that a new it. artist named V? Kelly, quit trying to give it an answer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold up. Here's a clue. You, Common, me, and this artist recently had lunch together. Stop. <laughs> In Hyde Park. I'm, she remember you were Common. He your complexion. <laughs> Complexion. Vic Mensa? Vic Mensa. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Right. At least she brought the Garrett's popcorn, huh? All, right. Hey, all okay. is well. All right. Hang out with us, Liz Dodra. We're going to make you a part of the show. Welcome to Celebrity Wise. It's Sway in the Morning. Only on Shade 45.